The thumbnail that shows next to your website in the search results is arguably the most influential thing that you have control over after the title tag that will impact whether people end up on your website or not. Why are you not giving more thought to it? My name is Frank, I'm the founder of Saga Pixel. We are a digital marketing firm and we're constantly looking for new ways to get more people to click on our clients' uh, websites in the search results. And the time that we've spent producing YouTube content has taught us how impactful the thumbnails are on YouTube. A great thumbnail can make or break a video. There's no reason why the same isn't true for Google, for the organic search results. Let's take a look here. I've performed the search dentist near me. I'm in Cherry Hill, New Jersey. Uh, and as I go down the page, we have this very anemic looking picture from Yelp. Not really enticing me to click on it. Go down a little bit. The others seem to not really have anything. We have this stock picture that also is not really enticing me to click. Barkley Family Dental, which coincidentally is the place where I go, has a picture of the two dentists. I think that this is effective in the sense that at least I know it's a real picture and I know that, you know, this is my dentist, but really they could have picked a picture that was show that showed their face and their eyes a little bit better. As we go down the results, Google Google really is not showing images for pretty much anybody. This one is kind of the same thing, but honestly not really enticing me to click on it either. Taking a look at the search results for Personal Injury Lawyer NYC, kind of the same thing. This picture of Manhattan is not making me want to click on it. Go down a little bit further. All right, well, this is telling me that there are a lot of attorneys at this place, that this isn't just a one guy in the back of a nail salon. Here we can actually see the two attorneys. If I'm interested in working with a smaller firm where I, where I feel I may get uh, more personalized attention, that may be a good place to click. Again, though, this result is a very zoomed out. Can't really see the people's faces, especially if you're on a mobile device. These are really tiny, so all of them would be better served by zooming in and having pictures where you can see the people's actual faces. This one, for example, is a winner. You know, if this is the person that I want to work with, I can actually see his face, he's smiling. It's just overall a better thumbnail. So how do you influence this? Setting your open graph tag is usually the only thing that you're going to be able to do. Our website uses the SEO plugin Rank Math. So if I click over here, go over here, I can set my open graph tag right here. So in, in this case, these are two employees that, that are no longer with our company. So it would make complete sense for me to replace it. All I have to do is click here, select a more recent image like this one of people that are actually at Saga Pixel, set that. And now that is going to tell Google that this is the the image for the page. We can now see in the source code where it has this open graph image content and that is the URL for the picture that I was just talking about. Take that in here, throw that there and there you can see the picture. In my experience, Google often does select what you set as your open graph image, but not always. I've noticed that, for example, with our website, lots of the images that are popping up in the search results just happen to be the first image that was found on the page. Google doesn't really give too much guidance as far as like how you can set these, but my recommendation would be that you make sure that you're setting your open graph image, that you are including pictures on your website that you would be okay representing your brand in the search results, and that if you do see that it's pulling in a picture that's really not doing a great job at, at, at enticing people to click on your result, then maybe you consider swapping out that picture for one that will do the job. I hope that this was helpful. I also want to encourage you to go check out our channel. We have some other videos that will give you some information on SEO and how you can help improve your website's organic visibility. And as always, consider giving us a like. One.